Hi, I'm Tyler with Homesear. Today I'm excited to share with you our new Android app, Homesear Mobile. Homesear Mobile is a free app designed to allow easy, customizable control of your Homesear system. In this video, I'll be providing you with a brief overview of the app and its main features. To get started, launch the app and log in using your MyHS Remote account. If you're not familiar with MyHS Remote, I'll be leaving some links to documentation in the video description below. Once logged in, the first page you'll be presented with is the dashboard. The dashboard provides quick access to devices, events, and cameras in a customizable format. In other words, they're meant to help organize your devices. You can keep devices you need access to the most on the main screen, and then set up new dashboards for things like AV control, security, or even a page dedicated to displaying battery levels of devices. Devices in the dashboard are referred to as widgets. In my main dashboard, I've already added a thermostat and a few lighting widgets. I have full control of these widgets, and from here I'm able to see their current statuses in real time. To demonstrate how to set this up in more detail, I'll add a security dashboard and a few widgets for monitoring my home. To get started, click the plus symbol on the top right of the dashboard page. Give your dashboard a name and click the check mark in the top right hand corner. Now we can move over to the device list. This page is designed for quick navigation using the floor and room values set up in HS3. From here I'm going to add a few widgets for my door lock and door sensor. Because both of these devices are in my mudroom, I'll use the room filter at the top of the screen to quickly find them. To add a widget to the dashboard, press the More Options button and select Add to Dashboard. Here we have many advanced options for how the widget will be displayed, but for now I'll just be adding it to the security dashboard without making any additional changes. Next I'll be adding a door lock, but I only want information from two of its secondary devices. I would like a widget to control the lock and another to display the notification status. To do this I'll need to select the same Add to Dashboard option and select the security dashboard like before but this time we're going to swipe to the bottom of the page and open the primary device drop-down menu. Here I can select the secondary device I want to add as a widget. Once that is selected, we can click the checkbox at the top of the screen and repeat the process for the lock control widget. Next I'm going to add an event and a camera to the dashboard. Pressing the calendar icon at the bottom of the screen will bring us to a list of events broken up into groups. Here I'll select the Security Away event, press Add to Dashboard, select the Security Dashboard, and then press the checkmark. Lastly, I'll add a camera. The steps for adding a camera are just about the same as adding an event. We're just going to select the camera we want to add, go into the Options menu, select the Security Dashboard, and then press the check mark. Now that I've added my devices to the Security Dashboard, we can customize the layout. By holding down a widget, you can drag them or access the Options menu for resizing and editing display information. Here I'm just going to rearrange and resize a few widgets to better fit the display. Now the last thing I want to do is change the display name of the deadbolt notification device in order to more easily tell what it is. A widget's display name and all other display settings can be modified here or at the time you add it to the dashboard. Simply make the change and click the checkbox on the top right. Now all that's left to do is to arm my security system and lock the door. If you have any questions about Homesphere Mobile or any other Homesphere products, please reach out to our support department by phone or email. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. To be notified about future videos, make sure to also click the bell icon. And until next time, take care.